Hello, you guys. So I just went into the chicken coop to do a little cleanup, and I've now found our third light that has been broken off at the screw-in base. So uh, we decided that this was getting to be too much of a fire hazard, and we're replacing these with a heat panel. Um, I'm not even sure we really need that, but our birds are still young. They're not even 14 weeks yet, so um, and it's supposed to be below zero today. So I'd like to just get them in some, um, just have some warmth at night. So I'm going to remove these and put them in storage, and then um, we'll go put up the um, heat panel we bought, which shouldn't allow breakage and won't potentially cause fires like these can. All right, so this is the panel I got. Right now it's about 49 bucks, and I'm looking online um, at some of the bulbs. So this draws 140 watts. The light bulbs draw 250 watts. They're about 10 bucks each. This is about 50 bucks I looked it back up. So five bulbs equals one heating panel with little to no worry of fire. Um, let's see, the sticker lights up between 113 and a, oh, at 113 degrees, and it will go to 167 degrees. Uh, of course, it's radiant heat. You can hang it in portrait or um, picture, I guess portrait or picture mode, up, you know, sideways or um, right side up. And I guess that's about it. We'll go outside and take a look at it and see what it looks like on. Um, you can see the chickens and stuff on this side, but on the on the back side they show a little puppy and a, and a dog, which is kind of cute. And this is, you know, the one I got, but I don't know, made in China. If any one is particularly better than another. Uh, but yeah, let's go outside and see what it looks like. Heat it up. All right, so we're back in the coop, and you can see that this is now lit up. Um, I can still touch the surface, but uh, apparently it'll get hot enough to where I can't touch the surface um, easily without getting a little hot, but not burned. All right, so I'm going to make sure this cord is up and tight, put it away, and then go ahead and let the birds back in. So. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll let you know how it goes with this. I'm pretty excited because, like I said, we've broken three bulbs in the last, I don't know, two weeks. So, dangerous. Anyway, there you have it. Thanks for watching. All right, so I'm inside the coop here, you guys. With nesting boxes up here. So I'm installing the panel down low to the ground. We know heat rises, so low to the ground is good. And I've got this overhang over it um, because the chickens roost up here, so I don't want poop to get on it. I'm running the cord between the two nesting boxes into the section that I can freely come in and out of, and that way um, there is a power knob on here, on this, so I can uh, turn it on and adjust it up and down. And also, when this gets to a certain temperature, and I'll put it down in the um, down underneath the screen, this sticker will light up. So it'll say the name of the company, um, and it'll be red, so I'll be able to see that. So this is hanging off the ground, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it works. See if, if I even need to turn it on. I could put it on a timer, which is what we did with the lights, um, but I think I'm going to go manual with this because. If it's above freezing, I don't really think they need heat below freezing just because they're so young. I'm going to gonna give it a, a try. Plus, it's just so much safer, I think, than the light bulbs. Um, and one of these costs about uh, three packs of light bulbs. I think this was like 45 bucks or something, pretty inexpensive. I'll use it for chicks. In the future, you could use it for young animals like puppies or kittens, um, lots of things. And it's a hard plastic. It's got a couple hangers on the back. You saw a picture of it with the wattage. So yeah, I'm going to run this through the other side. Let's go take a look. All right, so we're on the back side, you know, of the nesting boxes, and I've run the cord between a couple of them. And um, I'm going to grab my extension and run it up through here and be able to 
negotiate this, you utilize it in this space so I can come and go and not um, freak out the chickens. So again, that's where chickens stay and this is the storage and work area. So we'll get it up and running. All right, got the cords run through, got them tied together and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Listen for the click so you can see on and low to high, right? So I'll turn it on a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like when it's heat. The heat is up in there and um, then I'll turn it off but see how cold it gets. We're in the midst of freezing rain and um, it's supposed to start snowing. Snow I don't worry so much about but the ice that could be a problem. So anyway let's uh, take a look and see what happens.